boy. What's going on? Warriors? Crazy. Pandemonium. Oh. CD Project Red. They got hacked. Now, I did see this about two hours ago. I wasn't going to do a video on it, if I'm being absolutely honest with you. Because I thought to myself, you know what? If I do a video, it's just me reporting on news. Something that you could find in a hundred different media outlets. But I thought to myself, I do have a unique perspective on this whole situation. You know, and I do have... Um, look, I know opinions are like elbows. Everybody's got one. Yeah. But I do have the game. I bought the soundtrack, the guide, the law book, everything. So I want to get into it. So let's talk about it. So this was, this is so saying, three hours ago from the moment I'm doing this video. Right now it is 11.30 a.m. This is what the hackers did. They hacked their server, yeah? They took a lot of information. They took the source code. They took the from the pre four server uh, for... Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher 3, Gwent, an unreleased version of Witcher 3. And they also took documents related to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investors relations and more. Crazy. And not only that, yeah, but the absolute disrespect. They encrypted all the servers, yeah. So I'll tell you what, yeah, let me read the, the actual note that they left which they ironically left in notepad they used notepad to send them this note well leave it in their computer systems which is the most disrespect because they must have used the most sophisticated techniques yeah to hack into cd project red right or who knows they might have might have had like a, a week um like weak security which would be ironic considering cd project red cyberpunk 2077 and that type of stuff Although hacking is pretty easy to do in Cyberpunk, so who knows? <laughs> Might have been easy. This is what they put. Hello, CD Projekt Red. You have been epically pawned. Oh my God, the disrespect. <laughs> we have dumped full copies of the source code from your pre four server. For Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher 3, Gwent, an unreleased version of Witcher 3. We have also dumped all of your documents relating to administration, accounting, legal, HR, investors, relations and more. Also, we have encrypted your servers. Disrespect. They also, they took their, their own information. They encrypted it so they can't even get access to their own information. And then Cyberpunk can't eat uh, Cyberpunk. CD Projekt Red can't even hack or decrypt it. Bro, this is a liberty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we understand that most likely you can recover from backups. If we will not come to an agreement, then your source codes will be sold, leaked online, and your documents will be sent to our contacts in gaming journalism. Your public image will go down shitter. Even more people will see how shitty your company functions. I think they meant to put how shitty your company functions are. But whatever. Investors will lose trust in your company. And stock will dive even lower. You have 48 hours to contact us. So it's a ransom note. That's crazy man. Well. CD Projekt Red, they replied. They said, well, look, the TLDR is basically they're saying that they understand that they've been made victims of a uh, cyber attack. <laughs> it's so funny that they put cyber attack. Uh, which, yep, they do admit, you know, their internal systems were compromised. Yeah. Um, so, look. The TLDR is they're not going to negotiate with these people. So all this information is basically going to be put out there. They're in contact with the president of data protections office and IT forensics to try to see who's done this. Right. And who's basically and not only that yet in their um, release, their press release for this situation, they have put the word cyber attack uh, and breach. That is so funny to me. That is so funny and ironic. Because of um, Cyberpunk 2077. So this is a blow up dude. This is a blow up. Because they got the source codes for the game. 
Oh man, and information, HR. I think the main thing is going to be well. There's a lot of main things essentially that is going that could be a massive problem for them. I just can't believe they've just got owned like this. This is absolutely insanity. Like, how how weak was their protection on their system? They've had their accounting, all their accounting information stolen. Administration, legal, HR, and investors, and more. So this is going to be an absolute disaster. Because if some skullduggery comes out where, you know, they're talking some mess about people that have like, you know, and look, it's been well documented. They've been treating their staff correctly. Right, and I'm look. I'm not one of those people that feels sorry for CD Projekt Red. Yeah, since this whole debacle, this craziness, right, with Cyberpunk 27, 2077, I don't feel sorry for them, right, because they were very, very calculating in selling Cyberpunk, overselling the game. When we're saying, "Are you sure you could do this? A driving game, a shooting game, an RPG action game." story, all this kind of craziness, amazing music, visuals, right, and you've never done it before, look, we're doing it, they sold it to us in Night City Wire, before the game came out a week, you sent us a, a hype, unbelievable, beautiful trailer for that game, so everything was calculated, man, from pillar to post, deception and manipulation, and now you've got caught out, and people are, like, not happy, and I'm so happy on such a worldwide scale people are condemning this game and just letting them know how garbage the game is yeah and how bad um the the lies and the deceit was that now they're trying to make out like they're the victims hell no hell no i'm not taking it because you're only doing that now because people are holding you to account if people weren't holding you to account you'd be trying to go on like everything was normal and you come up with all this rubbish saying like oh the pc version is this pc version is that you sold to the console gamers so i don't ever want to hear that kind of rubbish that shit winds me up you know what i'm saying so you've got coming forward saying what's up and the pc version ain't even finished it's not even a complete version so you got you ain't got like one leg one leg to stand on Right? So, end of the day, man, this is an absolute blow-up. This is a catastrophe. Right? What I would recommend, yeah, is you go to Facebook go or go to Twitter and you read the note that the the, 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 the ransom note that was left. CD Projekt um, Red's um, press release, yeah? And then go to the comment section because you'll get unlimited jokes out of the comment section guaranteed right so yeah that's all i really wanted to say about that this is i mean to be honest with you nothing can come out that is going to well actually something could so let me not say that but they are so low in my view right now that it's hard to believe that anything could make them look any lower than how they appear in my eyes because now I've got no respect for that company whatsoever. They've shown how low they are, right? And how incompetent they are, right? So that's the reason I feel no, I feel no pity for them, yeah? Because money's involved. Right now, people are playing game. People are spending money on video games. Money that they don't necessarily have. But people are spending money on gaming because gaming is a form of escape. It's a world that you can go to forget about to forget about your worldly problems, right? And they took advantage of that. So, Warriors, wonder what you guys think. That was me talking about the CD Projekt Red um, hack, and they've been and they've been held to ransom. And Warriors, let me know what you think. I got more videos coming, so please stick with me. Uh, and yeah, Warriors, and um, take care, stay blessed, and see you in the next one.